A long time ago, you used to have to build your old school physical service for absolutely everything, right? Now, virtualization servers and build a whole bunch of VMs directly on computers. So what is the difference between a hypervisor or a server virtualization platform and a desktop based virtualization platform? I don't know. You know, sometimes it's very, very hard to be able to get a nice glimpse of all of the tech that I've got running. There's a lot of IT infrastructure. There are servers, switches, networking tech, and even business applications in small, medium to large, and even massive enterprises. You can easily lose track of what you have. And sometimes it's really, really hard to be able to easily capture all of this to get a nice map of what is going on. So we're gonna talk about this tool called Fathom. Essentially, it's a tool designed for IT people, for pros, to be able to map and visualize and monitor your entire IT infrastructure. Essentially, it helps you to understand your entire IT system from one single spot. It provides a clear view of all of your servers, your applications, your dependencies, all of your infrastructure, your cloud-based stuff, your on-premise servers, including VMware, Hyper-V, and even your physical servers. And what I love most about this is just how easy it is to actually use. Fathom passively behind the scenes just maps your entire infrastructure without even using any agents. And having used a lot of tools to be able to see my tech at a glance, I love the fact that this is fast, it's easy to use, it's cheap, and it's agentless. It is fantastic. The nice thing about this is you can trial it completely for free, so you can really go and configure it in your environment, see the benefits the same way that I saw the benefits and then you can go and pick it up. Down below, I've got a link to it in this video. A lot of you are not subscribed, so I would love it if you did on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And also, hey, you wanna learn more about tech? Go check out some of my training courses. I've got links to them down below in the video description. Okay, so you've got your traditional operating systems. You've got Windows, you've got the Mac, you've got Linux. They're the three big ones. Now, Linux comes in lots of flavors. CentOS, Red Hat, Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Fedora. There's a whole range of Linux flavors, we'll say. Then in the server space, you've got your Windows server space, you've got your Linux servers, and then you've even got these other server platforms that are more specialized for specific purposes. So there are two types of virtualization software. Okay, let's talk about the first one. The first one here is the ability for you to actually go and download some software off the interwebs and install that piece of software on your Windows or your Mac computer. You go down to the interwebs and you download VMware Workstation or you download VirtualBox or you download VMware Fusion or Parallels for your Mac and you install the software on your computer and that software then allows you to go and actually build VMs directly on your computer. You go to the internet and you download Windows Server ISO, you go and download a Linux Server ISO and then you can actually use those ISOs and install them directly on your computer. So you could be running a computer with Windows 10 installed with VirtualBox as the virtualization software and then within the software itself, you can actually go and build your VMs. And then you've essentially got Windows 10 and all of these other VMs or full, like they're full computers. They're just virtual versions of those computers running within the Windows 10 operating system side by side. Essentially what you're also doing is you're sharing the load. You're sharing the resources with that Windows 10 computer. That's also true on the Mac. So on the Mac, you can download VMware Fusion. You install it and then you can start building even Windows or Linux VMs directly within your Mac's operating system. So then you've got Mac OS running side by side with these other virtual servers or VMs within the same operating system. But if you want better performance, because what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be sharing, you're sharing some of the resources, your Mac is going to be sharing some of its RAM, some of its CPU, with these VMs that are now gonna be running within the same operating system. So if you're running a version of Windows 11 on your Mac, right, using VMware Fusion or Parallels, you are loaning some of that RAM to that Windows 11 computer. So then your Mac is going to be running slower because the Windows computer needs to use some of those resources to run and to operate. The other version, and this is slightly different, this is now where you are potentially removing the operating system from the computer altogether, from the computer, from the server, from the laptop, any form of computer you can generally get this running. And then you're replacing it with some server 
virtualization technology. So the big ones in here would be your VMware ESXi, and then you're booting into VMware ESXi, the operating system itself. And then to access that, you go to another computer, you go to the web browser, and then you can actually access the VMware ESXi server, and then you can start building and managing all of your VMs from there. The nice thing about this is that now 100% of the resources on that computer, on that server, are now available for you to use on those VMs. The other one would be Proxmox, you've got Citrix, but these are now more aimed at the server side of things. If you're wanting much better performance and you want a computer that is a little bit more dedicated for virtualization, then the best way to go is actually going and removing the operating system and building and installing a brand new hypervisor. So if you're just wanting to get started, what should you use? Well, I'm gonna say at home, start by actually just downloading on your computer, on your Windows computer, go and download Workstation for VMware, go and download VirtualBox. I'm just talking about the more popular ones here. On the Mac, go and download Fusion or Parallels and then start building some VMs inside of that. And then once you get a little bit more comfortable with that, go and try removing the operating system. Find yourself a computer that is maybe no longer needed and then go and install something like Proxmox or ESXi onto it and then it's a dedicated box running all of your VMs. So there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Let us know down below in the comments what you thought. Do the subscription thing as well and we'll see you on the next video.